All right, folks, so this is a separate clip, but I am going to put this on the screen because we just did a segment uh, by uh, a rabbi who wrote an article on the start of the Jewish high holidays here uh, talking about how he feels less safe uh, as a Jewish man considering what has transpired uh, this past year now. And this was uh, an unconnected piece of video. This wasn't attached to the same thread where I found that article, but I thought this makes for a good companion piece because here is case in point of uh, what this guy is talking about. Here is Rabbi David Feldman, an Orthodox rabbi, being confronted by a Zionist Jew. And look at this. Look at this interaction. You are traitor. Go to Gaza. Go. They want you in Gaza. Why you don't go to Gaza? Why you don't go to Gaza? Why you don't go? Why you don't go to Gaza? You are in danger. I am. We are the best people in the world. You are not people. You are Amalek. The best people in the world. You are Amalek. The world is all against what you're doing. Why you don't go to Gaza? Why you don't go to Gaza? Go to Gaza. Go I to Gaza. I did. And go, I did. go, I did. go. We you don't can, want you. You join You're me. not part of our people. You, You're not part of our you people. Are not, you are where, not part of our your people. You are not, you are not part of the Jewish, Jewish people. people. You, you, are are people. Are you are not represented. Go to you Gaza. Are go to Gaza. You are not Jewish. Judaism is not about a race. Judaism go is a religion. Go to Gaza. Ju go to Gaza. Don't you support the killing of everyone? We support a, living. An, we support life. An you are not. But you are Amalek. Bloodshed. You are Amalek. Everyone is suffering. Amalek. Everyone Amalek is suffering. Amalek. Palestinians, Lebanese, Jews. Everybody is suffering because of your wicked state of Israel. Right. Now, we've we've shown a lot of these types of confrontations, and I will show this again because mm -hmm. it's short. But you know, this one kind of demonstrates as well, if not better than any of them. Uh, just so many points. First of all, just how hateful an ideology Zionism actually is. I mean, these people are so incredibly miserable and angry and hateful. And by these people, I do not mean Jewish people. Look, this is a guy getting in the face of an Orthodox Jew, calling him Amalek, using biblical language to describe those less than human, shall we say, yeah. to describe a a man of deep Jewish faith. And so when we say these people are hateful, we're not talking about a race or a religion. We're talking about an ideological group. This is just an ideology of such incredible hatred that you could get in this guy's face and call him Amalek. You're not one of us. Well, there you go. I'm really glad he said that. You're not one of us because that's a word that take that to heart, folks. Take that. When an Israeli tells a Jew, you're not one of us. That I love hearing that. I love hearing that because that actually makes the distinction obvious. So there you have it, right from the mouth of this fucking asshole. You're not one of us. You're Amalek. Saying that to a to a rabbi with a Palestinian flag on him. This guy comes up and confronts him. These guys are out there. They obviously are protesting behind the little uh, guardrails there with their signs. They don't go around starting fights. This guy obviously came up to this guy and pointed his finger in his face and says, you're not one of us, you're Amalek. And the final point, just to demonstrate their hatred, because there's a lot in this one minute of video, go to Gaza, go to Gaza. They keep, they they always say this, go to Gaza. Well, that gives away the game. That gives away the game, does it not? That that what that What that shows you is that they have absolutely, not only no concern for the people of Gaza, they have hatred for Gaza and the people. That's their answer. Well, go there if you love them so much. Meaning it is the most obvious thing in the world that these committed Zionists care nothing about the civilians in Gaza. If they have any care in the world, it's hatred. It's hatred. The, the incredible hatred of these people. What a miserable way to go through life as, 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 as one of these people. Think of what a miserable existence that is, to, to walk around with such hatred in your heart every minute of every day. Yeah, I, I told you for October 7th, I'm going to put together a cut of the October 8th protest I covered last year, a, a, an extended cut of it. And um, they were saying that then. They were saying that then. Yeah. Go to Gaza. Go to Gaza. They were, yep. they were saying the day after. Yep. They were saying to go there. Um, no, these people in their minds 
are beset on all sides by anti-Semites and the Arabs are the successors of the Nazis. And at that point, what's not justified? Uh, th this is the war warfare 101 dehumanized the enemy. and that's right. even that's even in a war that is that is not genocidal by definition to do what they have done to these people the level of brutality and cruelty you have to think like a nazi you know i've, I've talked to some zionists about these guys um they really don't know how to handle them. They really don't know how to address them. All they can do is write them off as crazy or self-hating. And, and, you know, it really doesn't fit. How, how self-hating can you be if you're going to walk around with the hat and the payas? That doesn't seem very, uh, very much like the person is trying to deny or reject their Judaism. They're, they're embracing it quite a bit more than yourself. Um, they really don't know how to handle these guys. It's a total contradiction of their whole worldview. Well, that's why they have such hatred for them. That's why this guy is obviously going about his day and he feels compelled to come and get up in the face of a rabbi with a Palestinian flag wrapped around his neck. I'll play this one more time. Because of your you state of Israel, you are go of to yourself. Gaza. Go. You they want you in Gaza. Why you don't go to you Gaza? Are Why you don't go to Gaza? Why you don't go? Why you don't go to Gaza? You are in danger. I am. We are the best people in the world. You are not people. You are a Malik. You are a Malik. The world is all against what you're doing. Why you don't go to Gaza? Why you don't go to Gaza? Go to Gaza. Go I to did. Gaza. I did. He says, I did. Go, I did. go, I did. go. We you don't can, want you. you. Can join You're me. not part of our people. You're, You're not part of our you people. Are not, you are where, not part of our your people. Your You're your not part of the Jewish, Jewish people. people. You, you, are are people. Are you are not representing. Go to you Gaza. Are go to Gaza. You are not Jewish. Judaism is not about the race. Judaism go is to Gaza. Go to Gaza. Don't you support the killing of everyone? We support living. And, and we and, support life. And, and you are not. Such part, you are a Malik. You are a Malik. Everyone is suffering. A Malik. Everyone is suffering. Malik. Palestinians, Lebanese, Jews. Everybody is suffering because of your wicked state of Israel. Yeah. You, you know, look, good Jew? for these guys no, for being out you there. Eat, but you eat? <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. And good for these guys for being out there too, because as we covered in the last segment, uh, the yeah, rabbi where, where, who was where hesitant. Is this? Where is what's that's uh, New York. I mean, it's in Manhattan, but yeah. yeah. East side, East 47th. So it looks like Lexington and 47th okay. Street, if I had to guess. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah, um, but did they pick that spot for a reason? Is there a reason? There, I mean, there it's near the UN. Netanyahu spoke at the UN last week. So East side near the UN. I mean, maybe that's not Lexington. Maybe it's 2nd Avenue something. But it's there's the street sign there in the background that says East 47th. And the UN is on the east side in the 40s. Uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. it could very well be yeah, an anti-Netanyahu little... protest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, the fact that these rabbis are out there, it, it, I mean, good on them for being out there, because as the rabbi wrote in the article that we covered in the last segment, you know, part of what, what made him feel safe, because he was a little iffy on whether or not he wanted to go, what the scene was going to be like. And then he was surprised to see a lot of Jews at the protests and see how well received the Jews at the protests were. So yeah, great on them for being out there. And yeah, I mean, that video just says it all. Please clap. 